a century ago, wild Arabian deserts. Passing through these deserts is something like impossible. Without water, without food, there are bandits everywhere. There was only one way to finish the journey, leaning on a powerful tribal chief, acting by his name. Thus, you can rid yourself of the danger of bandits and provide your needs comfortably. Two people go out into the desert for such a journey. One of them is humble, the other one is proud. The humble one took the name of the tribal chief, while the proud man did not. The humble man walked everywhere safely. If he encounters someone who blocks his way, he says, I am traveling in the name of such and such tribal chief, and passes easily. If he enters a tent, he is respected by the name of that chief. The other proud person suffers such troubles in his entire journey that cannot be described. He was abased and became an object of scorn. It was a representation to show a truth. Let's get to the truth. A particle. This particle is standing in a certain place in the soil. A few months later, we see that that particle occupies a certain place at the top of a tree inside a slice of an orange and works according to the orange, both for its color, taste, smell, shape, etc. It performs certain actions in exactly the right places. How can it have so much knowledge? Before it came here from the land, there were thousands of obstacles in front of it. Moreover, it was powerless, more powerless than the man in the desert. It had many enemies and roadblocks. It didn't have knowledge, consciousness, or mind. That is, it was extremely helpless. In a normal case, what makes sense is that it should never, ever have come out of the ground. Moreover, to climb to the top of the tree, as if by spiritual elevators, putting its foot correctly in millions of stages. It should not have gone up. It should have stayed on the ground. Number one, there is no science. Something completely unconscious cannot overcome so many obstacles and get to exactly the correct place. Go to your dream. Imagine yourself in the place of a particle. Do you know where you will go? How you should move? You must have contact with millions of other particles in order to divide the jobs correctly, etc., and so on. Number two, it must have strength. A particle is completely powerless. You can think of it like a stone. It can't move unless you step on its back. You can't move at all. Either it had a motor in it or it had to be pushed from behind. In fact, this particle should not even rotate around itself. Furthermore, it is impossible to go to the exact place and do the necessary work there. Let's go back to the representation. The people in the representation also could not finish the journey. If he came safely through the desert, we would say, yes, so you got the name of the chief tribe. Otherwise, you wouldn't have finished this journey. If you came here safely, you can't deceive me. I'm sure that you have given his name everywhere. That is, you came in the name of the chief of the tribe. If you came here safely, the chief of the tribe brought you. Let's come to the reality, the particle in our hands. It could not finish this journey. If it took safely its place in the orange, then is someone else bringing it who has the power and knowledge too? Yes, it is God who took it and put it in its place, who made it work. This particle tells us through the language of disposition. I could not do these things. How can I do that? I am completely helpless, blind and deaf, disabled, unconscious, so that it is God who takes me from there to that place and makes me work. In the name of God, it says. Other particles are like this, in the same way. All particles, none of them can make any plant, animal, etc., in other words, it is actually God who takes them all to their accurate place. It is God who turns the earth into an orange. If one person moves the population of one city to another city, and if every individual is forced to work, you, who witness this situation from the outside, 
You are sure that that person cannot do these things with his own strength and power. After all, he is a soldier. He does all these things with reference to a state or a king. Otherwise, one person cannot do so many things. Like this, each seed is a soldier. We drop the seed into the earth city, which is completely unconscious. After some time, we see the people of the earth city, i.e. the particles, move to a new city called the tree. And each particle works in a certain place of this tree. Millions of completely unconscious individuals, particles, work on a certain leaf of the tree in order to make the leaf green, for not burning in the sun as well as they try for its exact shape. In other words, they operate perfectly in millions of cases. Another group of people, that is, a group of particles moving from the soil city to the new city, work precisely on the skin of the fruit, as if they were seeing the whole tree. They even see the whole universe and take a position corresponding to other objects and do their work without being confused. All Atom Man moves All Atom City again to another All Atom City. If you see a royal power behind this scene, by the same logic, the seed, like that soldier, is unconscious and powerless. He can't transfer the population of particles in the Earth City to the Tree City. Even if it does, it can't use each of them in the precise place in this new city. Note, the composition of the seed, DNA, is composed entirely of small particles, and there are no bonds between these particles. The DNA itself, i.e., the particles in the DNA, cannot stop, stand, move moment by moment in a certain position, at a certain angle, in a certain order. So, the DNA can't transfer the population of particles from the Earth City to the Tree City, as well as it can't work so perfectly. So, it's the omnipotent one of glory working in the background. DNA is also like a seed, like an egg, in fact. Everything else in the universe needs a force that is immaterial, non-universe, and based on nowhere, that we call him God. Those who object to necessity, energy, nature, four fundamental forces, chemical bonding, etc. Your claims have no basis. You are completely deceived. These are just concepts in names and the imaginary links which have no truth. And that's another topic.